everyone, my name is Marjolein Koek and I work as a textile conservator at the Rijksmuseum. I would like to tell you a bit more about one of my favorite objects and that is a corsage. It's a bunch of crepes hanging down from the hip of a 1918 evening dress. It was worn around the 1920s when fashion was focusing on the hip area. The cover of a French fashion magazine illustrates this with a model wearing even three bunches. The flowers are made from silk and velvet fabrics. And the grapes, 67 of them, are made from glass and gelatin. And yes, that's the same gelatin you use in the kitchen when you're making a pudding. In the early 20th century, a gelatin became popular in the fashion industry. Because of its low weight, it was easy to use on light fabrics. For example, a sequins made in various colors, shapes and sizes. But gelatin has one major disadvantage. It melts easily when in a warm or humid climate. So it was probably wise not to wear your gelatin glitter outfit during a heated dance-off. So back to the grapes. The corsage was selected for the 2016 costume and fashion exhibition at the Rijksmuseum. And it had to be safely displayed on a mannequin, so it needed to be conserved. This meant that loose bits and cracks had to be secured and stabilized. Also, any losses had to be camouflaged. To do this, we used a special type of tissue paper, called Japanese paper. It is lightweight and blends very well with the matte appearance of the grapes. Also, the paper is easy to color. Various shades of pink, lilac and grey were made. One sample for each grape. After that, the color samples were starched and put around a small marble to dry in the right round shape. Then, each piece of paper was carefully placed on a grape. This way, the damaged cracks and loose bits were stabilized and secured, and the missing parts were camouflaged. The corsage was then secured to the dress and mounted on a mannequin. For three months, the grapes made their walk around the catwalk. Nowadays, the objects safely rest in storage, but you can visit the online catalog Rijk Studio to have a closer look. And maybe you can even discover the conservation work. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back soon at the Rijksmuseum.